Well, the deadly police shooting of a community activist in Patterson is now under investigation by New Jersey's Attorney General. 31-year-old Najee Seabrooks was known for his community work in fighting crime, but last Friday he suffered a mental health crisis, and that ended with officers shooting him. Well, now his friends and co-workers say their offers to help the help end the standoff were turned down before that shooting. And tonight they're holding a march and prayer vigil. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson is live in Patterson with much more on that. Anthony. Yeah, Liz, that march and prayer vigil is expected to begin very, very shortly over at 100 Hamilton Plaza. They'll be marching here to City Hall where there's going to be a council meeting tonight. And these folks have a list of demands following the tragic shooting of Najee Seabrooks, which took place on Friday. They want to go ahead and see change in the city, and they want to see that change happen now. And yes, they are calling for justice for Najee. Justice for Najee. Justice for Najee. Najee Seabrook's death at the hands of police has promoted calls for better intervention tactics when it comes to dealing with calls for mental health episodes. He was part of the Patterson Healing Collective, which works in the city to reduce gun violence. He was shot down after a long encounter with Patterson police. We demand justice and will continue Najee's work of bringing safety and healing to Patterson. Members of the collective say Seabrooks called them while police were outside of his door on Friday. But the commanding officer prohibited them from helping in this crisis, and Seabrooks was shot and killed. So why is Najee dead? Why is Najee dead? They're dead because passing police, we, we have allowed this city to do this too long. We have allowed this city too long, and enough is enough, and it stops here with Najee Seabrook. There was a massive police response following the shooting at the apartment complex where Seabrooks lived on the corner of Mill and Ellison. His colleagues who worked to reduce gun violence say this could have ended peacefully. When police showed up, the only thing that they showed up with were bullets, tasers, uh, batons. These are, these are weapons, right? They didn't show up with the tools necessary to de-escalate. Members of the community are demanding answers and change so that people suffering from a mental health crisis get the help they need and not end up being killed. We need to invest in other resources that can create an uh, autonomous crisis assistance team so individuals that are not armed, that are not trained to kill, can address these situations so people can leave unharmed. The mayor of Patterson posted this statement on Facebook saying, Since the incident, I have devoted time to understanding what occurred, and it is clear more mental health crisis intervention resources are needed throughout our city. And so they're going to have this city council meeting tonight. That's one of the things they are going to be discussing. Also, the group is calling for the immediate release of the police video of this incident.